I was the kid with a school uniform for summer and winter. I was the kid that had clothes to go to church. I was the kid that had clothes to go and play. I had the latest toy. Now you can picture this, this kid, was I can, where other kids are struggling. Now I'm in an area where if other kids would say to their parents, I don't feel like going to school, it wouldn't be a problem. They'd be like, ah, you were now, I able to just go. With me, even if I had flu, I'd get a postal and then I'm going to school. I was that kid. And then by the age of 10, 11, I started questioning this with, with other kids. I mean, with me, if I'm playing outside, even if I don't have a watch, but when the lights are on, it means I must go home. Mm -hmm. But with other kids, they're still playing. Mm -hmm. And I could hear them from outside, you know, mm -hmm. cheering and having fun. And I'm missing out. Mm -hmm. The other kids are happy. Mm -hmm. And I'm here. I don't like it. So I'm this kid now who must come in and do the homework. Mm -hmm. Wash and get into your pajamas. Mm -hmm. The following day, I would hear stories, fascinating stories. Mm -hmm. You can remember, it was time of apartheid. Mm -hmm. So there would be comrades penning someone alive. Mm -hmm. There would be also see, robbing someone. Mm -hmm. There would be she beings. So mm -hmm. all these stories now I don't get to witness. Mm -hmm. I get to listen. And yet I'm in the same area. Mm -hmm. This could mean my mom doesn't love me. Mm -hmm. This could mean what I'm call right. Mm -hmm. And then with the kids, they can pick that up. Whenever they would want to do certain things, I'll be like, you know, I'll have to go ask my mom. Mm -hmm. If with other kids, I mean, we're in the coastal area. So it means that the kids can walk from whatever location to the beach. With me, I need to get permission to go. So now, I'll be even teased with the other youngsters. But ah, don't even bother with that one. Mama's must believe you. He's not gonna go. Why are you even asking? He's not gonna come. In a way, as a young one, you want to challenge them. Mm. Oh, no, no, I, I'm not going to ask mommy. I'm going to go. Mm. And guess what? Mm. If I would end up going, I would lose my tickets. Mm. Something would be stolen. Mm. And to think of it in hindsight, it could be even the friends that I went with. Yeah. <laughs> I'm older now, thinking back, mm. probably what, 20 something years ago. Mm. It could have been. The, the young ones that I went with to the beach that have done it. And now as a 12 year old, challenging what you know, now I want to be like other kids. Now we are talking about a kid here, myself. My mom opened a bank account for him. It was Bob Jr. card. I remember. I had money in that account. I had money in that account. I had a wallet as a 12 year old in a man. My mom would train me, would say, look, um, here is allowance for a week. <laughs> then if I would spend more, then for me to get more money, uh, you remember a lokshin where they would put in Womo or a carpet, a rufin, and they used to scrub it. Mm. I was lazy you know, when it comes to house to our house calls. You know? mm. So yeah, so if if again okay, see that point, you're so gonna get to that one. <laughs> <laughs> the, the reason why she's here, it is for that reason. Mm. When you will you will hear later how my life turned, mm. she kept on asking herself, mm. did I spoil my child? Mm. Mm. Colleagues accused her of spoiling me. People accused her of doing that to me. In other words, it's her fault. It's a journey of blames. Sometimes self-blame. Sometimes being blamed by others. You've spoiled him. Yeah. That's why he's doing these things. You are too lenient to him. You shouldn't have allowed this. You shouldn't have bought him five shirts of uniform. Each day has got a shirt each day. You should have let him suffer 
like oh. other kids. Mm -hmm. When I was sentenced, it was, it, was, it was painful. At the time, I didn't understand it. Four years into my sentence, my then girlfriend broke up with me. Yeah. I was upset, disappointed. And, um, but it was a good you know, thing for him, but it was also my turning point. But I wanted to, to hurt her by becoming successful. Let me also share something that you might not understand or don't know. In prison, when the girls are dating someone from prison and they break up with them, the inmates, they send people outside to help them. You are serving 11 years in prison. Someone comes in for two months was arrested for drunken driving, tickets, you know, whatever it is, but they're only going to be there for short. So what then inmates do, they take care of that person. They make sure they protect that person. They treat that person like a king. They do everything for them. And by the time that person leaves, they're already asking, what can I do for you? Yeah. I'm so grateful. They are mafias, Muslim inmates. Yeah. They already know. They say, no, 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 only no, worry, man. You are my own boy. I was doing it for you, man. You know we are from the same hood, and you know I'm staying here long. Just go home. But what are your numbers? Just in case. They already know. Yeah. And this one came when they go out, they want to impress the other inmates inside. Mm -hmm. Now, if they call after the man, hey, I'm just checking one boy, how's it outside? Is it lecker? No, it's all right, man. I'm having a nice time. Hey, man, you remember that girlfriend that I told you about? Mm. Yeah. Hey, she's bothering me, man. Mm. Hey, I don't sleep here, yeah, man. Omza, man. Omza, man. Ah, man, ah, man. They kill him, man. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, for you, but you know. Just give me the address. Now, this one now is acting big. It's outside. Wants to impress. Now he's even thinking, but if I don't do this thing and something else happens, I go back, I'm going back to this person that took care of me in prison. And that's how they take care of witnesses outside. This is why people don't want to be witnesses. People don't want to be witnesses. Because someone who's inside is thinking, but that witness is going to make me get 40 years. Instead of me paying a thousand rand, go and kill that person. Because you're not in the movies, most you're walking everywhere. In the movies, most they've got bodyguards, they check. When they are a normal person, you're going to shop right. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're just walking to your house, doesn't have the, you are not in the movies. So that's what means to do. But I decided I'm not going to go that route. I want to hurt her by becoming successful. That was the telling point. I wanted to make a girlfriend jealous. I called my mom. Olet, it was in December. Olet, I want to start. Hey, my mom was like, yo, I've been praying for this. Hey, you know, I'm happy. But now, when you've only got seven, mm. what are you going to start? I was like, hey, oh, no, don't worry, Olet, don't worry. I'll do my trick. What? I'll oh, no, do my trick. Believe it or not, I said to, to, to the authorities there, mm. I've lost my mm. results for Standard 9. <laughs> when I was arrested, I lost them somewhere. Now, it was easy for them to believe me because, in our child, yes. you know, when, when, when these young kids are sent to these multiracial schools, yeah. you would even, you know, think that they are intelligent mm. just yeah. by the way they speak. Yeah. So you can imagine you when know, I'm in prison, yeah. you know, I, I, I ride in that way. Yeah. With my metric, I wrote or I registered for accounting, for pure meds, for economics, this is economics and two languages. No teacher. First man could it's pure meds. Mm. Now, this now we're talking now, someone on a 10 years is a dropout. Mm. I dropped out when I was 15. I'm now registering for metric, I'm 25. Mm. 10 years, dropout, I don't even have to now. 
hey, I look at these things. Hey, I get confused. Get confused. I call my mom after the month. Mm. Olet, get me the question papers mm. for the for the past, past that's the question yes. papers with memos. Mm. The easiest way now to get this thing mm -hmm. and for me to make it mm -hmm. is to see how they ask mm -hmm. and how they allocate marks. Yeah. Is there a teacher here? Yes. I miss. Now, when, when you look at accounting, accounting, they don't give you a, a, a mark for the answer. Uh -uh. They give you for in his depth. You get there is depth. We are there right with debit and credit. We are as you try to we are on the One of the other. I say I'm lost one mark. But get out of ten, um for me no six work. Yes, who like number six? Number five. We are but you know. That's how I passed. Sure. I remember in prison, I got my results through the telecom that's a public phone where you put that 08 yes. to London number and then you put your numbers. In prison, must must act strong. Can't be a CC in prison. Now I've got this phone up on this side and I've written my subjects. So I'm listening to this you know, computer or the voice, what, what. Mm. So yeah, it has a power, ban, 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 from accounting, yeah. pass, that. <laughs> when, I got, when I got to the last subject and I realized I passed my matric, I was crying on that. Wow.